Necrotation horse is the most unusual animal because not only does he have to be very durable physically because the, the, the students need to practice a lot, but he needs to be hardy emotionally because they're going to make a bunch of mistakes and they, the horse just has to roll his eyes and say, well, let's hope they get it right eventually and just keep doing it and doing it until the rider gets it right. And uh, so the top equitation horses are a remarkable, remarkable animal. I've been training in, uh, horses in this area for a very long time. And uh, it, one of my first most successful horses was a horse called Glen Owen. A plain chestnut with a small star, but he was a big star. He was a big star. Glen Owen was born in 1969 and raced as a three and four year old on Vancouver Island. Glen Owen's name is forever linked to Laura Tidball Beliski. Young Laura asked for a horse for her 11th birthday. Well, Laura's mom um, asked me to find Laura a horse when she was 11 and gave me a budget of $2,500, which even at that time was a very low <laughs> price. Yeah. Fortunately, a colleague on Vancouver Island called Bo Mearns told me that she thought she had the right individual. So over went Diane, Laura, and myself. And the trial was a success and we purchased Glen Owen, a five-year-old thoroughbred horse. An equitation horse is such a specific horse. It's such a hard horse to find because they have to be an expert at everything. They have to be beautiful, they have to be rideable, they have to be versatile, they have to do hunter and jumper and they have to have the ability to make their rider look better. Laura and Glenn started their career. Training was very successful and everything was positive. And then we went to our very first horse show to discover that Glenn had stage fright. He <laughs> did not want to go in the ring. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> so another colleague who was larger and stronger helped me sort this out and I addicted Glenn to keg peppermints from the keg restaurant, and that helped. Soon that problem was, was dispersed. And basically from that day on, the partnership between Laura and Glenn was developed, and the rest is history. Laura and Glenn Owen's partnership attracted national attention in 1980 in New York City. Well, in the fall of that year, I was riding on the Canadian equestrian team, and we had a team at the uh, at Madison Square Gardens. And it was at the early going of the week that I heard there was a young lady from British Columbia, Laura Tidball, competing in the in the Maclay Finals. So I made a point of following that all week long, and I was up in the on the stands when she won. And I, to everyone around me in the stands, I announced, "That is a girl from Canada, and I am Canadian proud." Now that the partnership had developed between Laura and Glenn, they qualified and went to and won both of the most prestigious young rider events in North America. At that time, the AHSA medal at Harrisburg and the McClay medal finals at Madison Square Garden. Glenn was a very special horse. Glenn was leased to Tim Key's barn in Connecticut from 1982 to 1985. Tim still has fond memories of Glen Owen, and here's an excerpt from a tribute he wrote. I have trained equitation riders for a great many years and do not know of any other horse that had such an incredible record with three different riders. Most importantly, I want to thank the Tidball family for the privilege and opportunity to have worked with Glen Owen, a truly premier horse who I will always remember fondly. That horse had a heart of gold and he was so generous to do what he did and what he accomplished was unbelievable. To see a horse do that much in his career to win that many medals, both with Laura in history, won the Met and McClay and the medal finals, Laura O'Connor, the medal finals, and Steve Heineke, the McClay finals, and then everybody else that rode him and did him, they all qualified through the year and one always came out of the finals with a ribbon. That horse was so beyond belief. I make it clear to my students, you have three instructors. The person that's actually talking to you and teaching you how to ride. The other, all the other riders that you get to watch and learn by their example, for better or for worse, and the horses that you ride. 
And with all due respect to the wonderful instructors I've had over the years and the great examples of riders, all of the riders around me, the, the best lessons I've ever learned are from my horses. Glen Owen was that kind of horse, a professor emeritus.